YouTube, what's going on? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and let me welcome you to Detroit, Michigan, but more specifically, my den. This is where I hang out most of the day to watch movies and TV and even eat sometimes. So let's discuss my setup in this tour. So it's pretty easy to jump right ahead to the end product, but let me show you what it looked like the day I bought the house about a year ago. It's this huge brick fireplace that's like eight feet wide and around 12 feet tall. Also, I wanted to put a TV on top of it, but it's pretty tough with a fireplace underneath it and just the way things are laid out. To tackle this problem, we bought a mantle from Wayfair. Once that came in, we ran wires within the grooves of the stone. We ran coaxial on the right and also power on the left, and then we painted the wires the same color as the stone, and it looks pretty stealthy. Then we shaved down the mantle to slide against the stone and use the inner parts to hide the power strip. Behind the TV, we added a hide it stealth mount for the cable box. We installed the cheetah wall mount for the TV, and we slapped the Vizio M60 on it. It's not the newest TV around, but it's my TV and it works pretty good. Behind the TV is the dream screen, which is responsive backlighting. Now I'll cover that in a full video, which is linked down below and at the bottom too. We also added the sidekicks and these hide behind these lanterns that we found at Home Goods. And all together you end up with a nice splash of color on this wall and it just looks really, really nice. And obviously we did change the floors. We ended up with a wood laminate finish and it just livens up the room completely. Now, speaking of TVs, I only have one thing plugged into it right now and that's the Nvidia Shield. This is the best 4K HDR streamer on the market and it even comes with this really nice remote that's touch sensitive and it lets you use Google Assistant. But instead, I'm actually using the Logitech Harmony remote so I can control my TV and anything like that from my actual phone or my Amazon Echo. I will touch on the remote at the very end of the tour. Now for extra controllers and other accessories that are near my TV, lately I tossed them into my port play organizer and a big thanks to them for sponsoring this portion of the video. So I like to keep an extra remote for the shield in here, also some spare batteries and this anchor power brick. It's 30,000 milliamp, it's USB-C and it's quick charge. And it all fits nicely in this port plate case. If you need to carry something bigger, they have larger ones available for tablets or more accessories. And also you can get them in different colors and styles. I prefer this darker color just because it sort of blends in with everything. I can stow this underneath my coffee table or leave it on top of the coffee table and it blends really nicely. You can even use the smaller one as a toiletry bag too if you travel as it has these zippers and it has some dividers too. The materials on the port play feels really good. It's a textured fabric and it has a double zip closure. Also it has a handle on the back to make it easier to hold up or as a mounting point for a clip system. It's small enough to fit in any bag as it lays pretty flat. The port play organizer system comes in all shapes and colors and varieties to fit what you need. And you can also pick this up in store at Target or you can just hit my link down below. For audio, could have done better, but I wanted to go a very clean route and something that's very, very stealthy. So I am paying a bit more, and for what I'm paying, I could have had better sound, but for my den, I think it's okay. I went with Sonos to control my sound for the den and also the rest of the house too. I have the sound bar, which sounds really good, and I also have two Play Ones that are mounted behind the couch. The audio quality is pretty good, and I don't have any major complaints, but without the sub, it does lose a lot of that depth that I was hoping to get. And once you add the sub, you definitely get that, but for that price, you can have a much, much more robust sound system. But I did want a wireless clean setup, so, you know, it's one of those things. Controlling everything in the room is the Logitech Harmony Hub and the Elite Remote. This remote is a beast that control anything smart. I have a video for this that's linked down below and up top in the cards too to see it in action, but this remote controls everything in one location, my lights, my sound, my TV, my everything, and it also gives me the same control for my phone too. So if I can't find the remote or if I'd rather use my phone, 
I can connect to the hub wirelessly and make those changes that way. Anyways guys, that was the quick tour of my den. Let me know what you think down below and my dojo was almost ready. So be looking out for that as I've been working on this thing for about a year and I'm super stoked to show you guys all about it. Anyways guys, Kevin the Tech Ninja here. I'll hot you guys later. Peace.